Okay, it's that time again for the video that many, many of you have been asking for. It's time to review and to try on the beloved Cezanne Winter Collection. These videos are my most requested, and if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss out on these reviews every month. I'm actually working with them monthly now, which has been a dream of mine. So in today's haul, I'm going to go over my top pieces that I love so much that I've released just over the past few weeks. So as we move into cooler months, then you're going to see more neutral colors, beautiful textures, and accessories that are iconic and timeless. And I believe that this is the best out of the price range that you can get. It's such beautiful quality and attention to detail. So let's get started. So this first one is the Erwan jacket. I believe you gotta forgive my pronunciation of all these beautiful French names, but I really loved this piece and wanted to pull it out for this collection because it has such a beautiful, stiff fabric to it. It's very structured, but yet the the shoulders here are soft, the way that they've designed it has a drape to it, and the whole thing is meant to be oversized. So that's a beautiful look, and I also love the gold buttons here that stand out so much against the navy. I also got this in another um, colorway. So this is a houndstooth, and here it's got a corduroy around the collar and on the buttons as well. Just really big, bold, um, beautiful buttons there that are all corduroy. And corduroy is probably my favorite fabric, so this definitely has a place in my heart. I feel like I had a jacket with this similar pattern when I was growing up and it just made me start to feel like this woman when I was wearing it. So I have an attachment to this already so much. I can't say that I'm going to keep every single piece just for the sake of consumption on my part, but I wanted to just feature everything today so that you can really have this as a guide for yourself. Next, you might recognize this coat because last month I featured the camel version of this and I had to try the navy as well because it is just one of those beautiful rich colors for this time of year. It pairs well with brown very easily, which I love to wear for fall and into winter. Um, this is more of a casual take on an oversized long coat and so it works just as an overcoat that you can throw over anything, but this one felt a bit more dressy to me because of the color. And I also love that it's not lined, it's just a very simple, sleek jacket and you can wear it open or closed just to be able to style with it and it could be even a layering piece if you really needed to stay warm so just think about it in those creative ways and that allows you to have more freedom this time of year in how you style your winter wear. Next I chose a jacket from their men's line. I wanted something that would make me feel like this mysterious, like, who is she woman, you know, running out the door, maybe grabbing her man's coat and just like having a little bit of that masculine feminine component there. And it totally was a home run. This is going to be one of my forever coats. I think I'm going to tailor up the sleeves a little bit just to fit me a little bit more naturally. But I am so happy with this. I love those clean lines of it, but I also love the herringbone texture. Um, there's hidden buttons, so when you button it up, it's not that the buttons are shown or anything like that. And overall, I love the good durability that I feel from wearing one of a menswear outerwear pieces. Um, the lining is really beautiful. It's got like more of a, that's a navy, and then this is like a pinstripe inside the sleeves. So all together, this is one of those pieces that I have really enjoyed layering with this time of year, just throwing it on over anything. And it's gonna be one of those things that I will have for years and I'll just be like remembering when I got it now and this time in my life, so. Next is the Carl coat. This is in a gray chevron. The chevron pattern in the wool is something that's very subtle. So overall, it feels like just a, um, like a mid-tone gray, but I love the light and the dark colors inside it. I did wear this the other night with friends and it was just one of those perfect pieces that I could throw on and it was like oversized, but it's a great jacket if you don't want something super long. This hit me at a really great place and it was just fun. I felt like I could just um, feel very warm and cozy when I was outside and yet still very chic, which is so hard to find as a balance in winter clothing. So this was such a beautiful piece. I'm, I just felt like a million bucks in it, so I can't recommend it enough. I believe I've tried every single one of their Will jackets by now, and this one was such a beautiful surprise. When you've tried different ones, you start to realize the little nuances of how they might change things out. And this one has a lining. It felt more to me like 
something that you would wear as like a, not a, I don't like the word pantsuit, but something you would wear almost like a tuxedo style. And it definitely dressed up the outfits that I tried with it. So the normal will jacket is worn very casually as a layering piece, um, something that you could just put on if you're gonna walk in the park on a mild day. And this one felt more like something I would wear to an event. Um, so it's wonderful if you need to dress up any outfit. I love the tortoise shell buttons too. That was such a nice touch. I also tried it in one other pattern. So here again, a beautiful corduroy piece. And then for this, it's just something that was a bit more um, thick than the other wool jackets that I've tried. And it has a lining, but it's more, that's a cotton. That's like a very thin cotton layer there as the lining. And again, it's got those tortoise shell buttons. And these giant pockets are what I love the wool jackets for because I can just throw my you know, my phone or my keys in there and I don't have to bring a purse with me or anything else that day. Next is the Laurel Jumper. What I love about this is that it's a hoodie. <laughs> I just have always loved it when Cezanne makes them, but I don't think I've ever tried one personally. So this is my first experience with it. I'm so thrilled with it. I love that they added a raglan um, sleeve to this so that it drapes here again. So you've got the bulk here, which is really cute and beautiful, but I, I love that it just sort of drapes and is silhouetted very beautifully there. And then for the sleeves, this is again where this is a little bit more chic than if you were to wear a normal hoodie. It's got this, this like braid texture here and then right ab above the cuff right here. So it's sort of a balloon sleeve where it drapes very nicely and then it's cinched at the bottom with a braid. Next is the Rosalia sweater. Again, forgiving pronunciation here. Um, it's a really soft merino wool. By the way, the hoodie was baby alpaca, which was so incredibly soft and lightweight. But this one is more, um, probably a bit cooler on your skin if you really want to stay nice and cool as a layering piece, especially. And the most detailed part about this is this beautiful neckline here. It's one of those beautiful mock necks to where you don't have to feel like you are in a turtleneck, but something that has a bit of a feminine detail there. And then anytime that I can find a pattern right here, it's gonna look great underneath those jackets that I mentioned before as a piece just to shine through a little bit. And when you're working with neutrals, the textures are what comes to life. This next sweater is navy, and what I love about a sweater like this is it's flirty, but it still is so sophisticated where I would feel like if I was hosting a holiday party, I would wear something like this. So high class, and I love all of the lace inserts. So with this, I chose a navy bra just to be able to layer with and feel comfortable, um, but I loved all of the details of this. It's a very soft material, but then the lace is very structured. It's not going to like crumple or anything like that with time. I think that it's gonna really stand the test of time. For more of a feminine top, this sweater is bringing all of the femininity everywhere at every location. So obviously you've got all of this beautiful embroidery and ruffles, um, but then it's on a really beautifully knit um, design here for the sweater itself. And then in the back, if you wanted to wear like a high neck, it's got three little buttons here with that open detail there. And so all together, it's one of those just very feminine tops. Now for me personally, I like to move this a bit more Western so that it feels a bit more on the like Bohemian side and Western side. So I like to dress it a bit more in that realm so it feels like it has a little bit of an edge or a mystery or maybe something um, that I found at a vintage store. In my last video, I featured the ivory version of this sweater. So this is the Laya sweater in black. It's made out of super kid mohair and also merino wool. It's got the balloon sleeve and then everything here is just beautiful eyelet details. So you could dress this with a silk cami underneath and feel amazing. Or it might just be something that you wanna wear on a date night and be cozy around a fire or something like that. Um, but I love anything that has this beautiful knit detail of the eyelets with black. There's something about the black that really makes the eyelets seem um, more sophisticated and grown up, like a, you know, just a really beautiful grown up woman piece of clothing. This one is very similar to the one I just showed, but the interesting thing about this is that it is a cardigan. So each one of these little details is a covered 
button here and then it is attached by a tiny elastic and I felt like the elastic was really interesting because it seems like just another piece of this fabric here and the way that it's knitted I just felt like it was something that I would find again in like a really vintage beautiful store in France and really that's where Cezanne became what it is today is that the founder used to look for these types of pieces that were authentic um, and then she sold them secondhand as she would discover them. So she had that online shop to begin with and that's how you see all these beautiful, unique details that really you can't find in stores anymore. So that's why my heart is really sold on each one of these pieces so much. Okay, next is the charcoal cardigan that I'm wearing right now. It's the Betty cardigan. And one thing that I love about this so much is that it's that perfect layering piece, but it also could be a cardigan that I can actually button up and make as a shirt, just dressing it with charcoal jeans or anything like that. But I loved the tortoise buttons again here that we've seen on some of the jackets before. And then the fabric itself is very cool. So as I'm wearing a few pieces right now with it, it isn't something that I feel sweltering in at all. It's so perfect. And it still is thin enough to where I could put one of the jackets on too. Staying with this outfit, these shorts are the Wallace short. I have been wearing them <laughs> I want to say every day, it feels like I've put together some sort of new outfit with them. And as we are entering the colder winter months, I know that I will probably be layering these with more of a fleece lined uh, tight, but right now it's a bit more mild or if I'm just in my house or anything like that. This is such a feminine way to style something like this. And it also gives you an excuse on how to not necessarily pack away all your shorts yet if they are still sort of made for fall. So I know that these shorts I'm going going to bring out of storage probably around like September of next year and then wear it well into as far as I can into like January here where I still live in the south and we have some mild temperatures. Um, but I loved a lot of details about this. I loved the wool. I love that they're lined, which makes them super comfortable and not itchy to wear. Um, I like to just, you know, have this belt here and have something to just cinch the fabric a bit. And it's got that old world feel again, um, something that I might have found on Etsy or like something and then like cut it if it was a regular trouser and made it into shorts. It has that feeling to it of something handmade and loved and worn. I wanted to include one vibrant piece out of the whole mix of neutrals. I will be having more colorful pieces next month with my holiday collection that I share, but this was such a beautiful color. I'm a bit of an autumn myself in the way that I'm colored. So I really do like to wear these like um, orange or yellow tones and just see how far I can push that. So I really did like the color. I love the pattern on here. Um, I believe that this is one of those pieces that I could wear reversibly as well because you can keep that in the back and I think that looks so good with um, jeans in the back when you've got this button line here and that just adds a little bit of a flirty detail too and you don't have to keep everything buttoned up that way either. But all together, love this look. I feel like the fabric is um, very lightweight and uh, warming. I would say this is more warming than the merino wool that I'm wearing right now. So just sort of a point of reference there. Next, I tried a couple of dresses. This is the Capri dress and um, it's very similar to this top that I showed you guys before that is so feminine and lovely. Same sort of buttons and pattern that we're dealing with there, only this is the dress version. So for this design, instead of that beautiful collar for the shirt, this just has something that is a bit more stiff and I really didn't mind it just buttoned all the way to the top. Um, I felt like that sort of dressed it up a bit. Um, and then right here, they've got this beautiful tie to where it is something where um, I can just sort of play with if I want the fabric to sort of drape outside of it, I can. Otherwise I can tuck some in. And it's just fun to be able to experiment and see how I want it to lay. Overall, I've been really impressed with this. It isn't a pencil skirt, but it does have a bit of a contour to it on the bottom. This next dress is a bit warmer than the other one. One unique detail about this is that this collar is removable. So if you wanted something that is very just straight and um, basic, this is a basic, but it's elevated because you've got this detail that you can also include. It's lined, which makes the wool very comfortable. And then here we've got a button enclosing the back. I liked the length of this. It was one of those things where with dresses like this, it's 
on my proportions could have been hit or miss, but I'm so impressed with it. I like to cinch it in the middle with a belt that is like a statement belt. And then I like to also wear it with my amazing <laughs> like big boots um, just to be able to bring a bit of a modernization. So even if something is a basic, you can dress it up or down exactly to meet your personal taste. Okay, moving on to shirts. Let's start with the one that I'm wearing. This is a silk shirt and then I love that they have this tie that it comes with. It's like a lavalier top because it's got something that I can like work with and play with to make into a bow, um, but it is removable. So I could just wear this as a regular silk shirt, kind of like we were talking about with the dress that I just showed. It's a basic, but it's also elevated because it comes with something like this for free. So <laughs> that's amazing. Um, I also love that the buttons are hidden. So if you want something that's just very minimal as your basic silk shirt, this is a great option. And silk is a wonderful fabric for colder weather because it is a perfect layering piece to keep you cool underneath these layering um, cardigans and jackets that you're going to put on top. Okay, I'm back. My mic died and I had to charge him quick, but let's move on to this next shirt, which is the Tiana shirt. It's in an Arizona blue patchwork pattern. It's a little bit on the sheer side and it has some metallic pin stripes here that is really beautiful. So I really love this because um, blue is going to be one of those colors where you can naturally match it to a lot of different things you already have in your closet. So if you're looking for more of a statement top, this one is still very understated and would be very comfortable to layer with. Moving into accessories, Cezanne surprised me with their Clark bag, which is their iconic bag to celebrate 10 years of business. So this is just so beautiful. I love that this could be a bag that I carry with me for the rest of my life and it will always stay perfectly timeless. It would also be a great heirloom piece or um, a gift if you're looking for something in this next month or two. So that's lovely. I love inside of it as well because it's got two different sections here that I can put things in and then a zipped area as well so I can um, make sure that I never lose anything. And I love the clasp here. Um, yeah, there's really nothing about it that is too trendy or like big logos or anything like this. This is just one of those very classic, perfectly chic bags. And finally, the hats that I wanted to share were these ones that are this beautiful baseball cap design. I like baseball caps that are very understated, kind of like with the bag. There's not big logos on this or anything like that. I'm working with neutrals and that's going to allow me to wear it with anything here. And I like baseball caps because they're a way to make something look more modernized or also dress down. But yet the pattern on this is so beautiful. I've got this one, which is more of that chevron um, pattern of a tweed. And then there's this one, which is more of that beige, matches the will jacket perfectly. And one little hack about hats <laughs> is that if you match it close to your hair color, then it's gonna just blend very easily. So if you're like on the fence about wearing hats, try to match it to your hair color. Okay, let me know in the comments which one of these was your favorite personally or if you are buying any of them. And also thank you to Cezanne for sponsoring this video and working with me today. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.